everybody, welcome to today. Today is Wednesday and it is an English challenge day. Are you ready for an English challenge? We got a vocabulary challenge. We got a vocabulary challenge. We're gonna start out today. We're gonna start out with your favorite, which is definitely not your favorite, me drawing. <laughs> We're gonna start out with my beautiful drawings. Yeah. Lucas is gonna draw for you. You have to guess what am I drawing, okay? That's number one, that's number one. My nose is a little bit itchy, but at least I can breathe. Shilin, thank you so much for all your gifts. For number two, for number two challenge. I have no idea what we're gonna do. I prepared two challenges. Normally I prepare three, so. But the third challenge I wanna do last. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need to uh, save this for a second. Save as a oh, one uh, twenty four challenge. Guess the lyrics. Could also do that. Uh, we can do guess the lyrics. Yes. Um, bro, there we go. But guess the lyrics is not really like an English learning challenge. Okay. You want to learn some English with it. Couldn't find a live recording. You go to the link, my friend. Or you just look on YouTube for Lucas Vods. Lucas V-O-D-S. Sorry, it's a terrible name. <laughs> That's the technical name. Lucas Livestream. Is, is this available? Lucas Livestream is not available. Let me see. Lucas TikTok. Lucas TikTok also not available. Lucas, Lucas, Lucas Live. Also not available. You'll figure it out. Anyway, thank you so much for the hearts, my friend Roxana. And thank you so much. Shi Lin, you are so, so, so nice. Don't forget to like it, like it. That's gonna help you out, okay? I suggest everybody that I'm just gonna drink some... Cheers, I'm just gonna drink some milk. And we're gonna start out with the first challenge of today, okay? We're gonna start out with the first challenge of today. If you have any questions, I will answer them after the challenge. Right now, English class time. Focus, focus guys. I believe in you, I believe in you. Um, live Lucas also not available. Live stream Lucas. <laughs> oh, live stream Lucas is available on YouTube. Done. <laughs> Publish. <laughs> now I need to change the link again, guys. Give me a second. <laughs> live stream Lucas on YouTube. You will find the link. Okay. Now I'm going to redo the introduction. <laughs> Thank you so much, Roxana. So kind of you. Now I gotta redo the introduction so editing tomorrow is easier. Did I publish it? Sorry, publish. There you go. All right. This is what we're gonna do. Lucas is going to make a beautiful, beautiful drawing for you. Is it in your vocabulary? Is it in your head to figure out what I am Drawing. That is the question, guys. That is the question. Who can be the number one? I don't know. We got 20 words. We got 20 words. We got 20 words. And the last one is ridiculous. I have never heard of this word. <laughs> Why use a new YouTube account? Uh, you will figure it out. I have no idea what this thing is. Okay, you have 19 words. <laughs> You have 19 words. Anyway, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna draw for you. I'm gonna draw. Uh, uh. I'm gonna draw for you. You're gonna guess what is the word. 
This is how it works. I open the draw feature. You have to write the word. It is one word. And whoever is fastest is number one. Just like this. Para, 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 pa, pa. Now you type what it is and you will know. And you will know. Who can be the number one to guess the word? Guess the word. Who can guess the word? It has four legs, but it cannot walk. It has a square to sit on and a back plate. What is it? What is it? It is, uh, you have 10 seconds. To guess, four legs, a thing to sit on, and a back plate, normally made of wood. Three, two, one. It is, of course, a chair. It is a chair, guys. I know my drawings are beautiful. Hello, TikTok. Can we use the reveal button? Thank you. It's Kat, Gal, Iris, John, Alida, Rachel, Dida, La Pelli, Ra, Sunshine. Welcome. Welcome to the top 10 of today. Welcome to the top 10 of today. You're back just in time. We're going to go to word number two. The first, the first five are going to be easy, okay? Easy. It's to warm up to warm up okay next up next up uh, let me change the color i am looking for something else that looks like a chair but not exactly i'm gonna draw it half to see if you can guess what it is this normally also has four legs and a plate on the top but what is it but what is it? It also has four legs and uh, 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 how do I say the word without saying the word? It also has a big plate you can put things on. For example, your dishes. I'll finish the drawing and you got 10 seconds. There. <laughs> a piece of art a piece of art five four three two one it is of course a table guys a table you got it gloria mouse gal vero steph trinity Ambuto, uh, Budika, Sunshine, Denise, welcome to the top 10. Welcome to the top 10. Good job, good job, good job. Easy, right? Good warm up. But how fast can you be? Sometimes it's difficult to think of the right word. Sometimes it's a little bit tough. Sometimes it's a little bit tough. Um, so let's see. If you can come up with the next one, who can be the number one? It, this one has a normally, I don't know if it's normally, but sometimes it has a round base plate and it has a sort of metal string or wooden string going up. And then it has this metal cup, a metal cup upside down. A metal cup upside down and inside the metal cup is normally something that shines yellow shines white shines blue shines in uh, all kinds of colors I'm talking about the whole thing a base plate a string of material going up with a metal cup or wooden cup at the top. What am I looking for? You have five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And I am talking about a little lamp. A little lamp, guys. Like a table lamp, 
I was drawing the one I have right here. <laughs> Gal, Pepita, welcome back. Uh, Thick Paradise, welcome. Alex, Iris, Mouse, Hazel, It's Cat, and Trinity, all in the top 10. Congratulations. Welcome to the top 10. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, I know it is simple, but the point is not always to make it too difficult. You know I give you difficult challenges, but this challenge is just how fast can you grab the vocabulary from your mind. And don't worry, the words are going to get more difficult. So don't worry. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. That was number three lamp. Very nice. Yeah, you can call it a table lamp or a reading light. Also good synonyms for the same thing. For the same thing. All right. All right. Next up, guys. Next up. I'm going to keep using yellow. I like the color yellow. This thing um, is flexible. It has a back, it has like a backbone almost. It normally has a rectangular shape connected to another rectangular shape. And it is flexible. What kind of thing am I looking for? What kind of thing am I looking for, guys? Two rectangles that are flexible and there's something in between. There is something in between the two rectangles. Um, in between the two rectangles, you can find information. You can find uh, just interesting things. You can find stories. There's a lot of things you can find in between the two rectangles. And the flexi flexible backbone. <laughs> The flexi flexible backbone. <laughs> My explanations are on point. I'll give you five seconds, guys. I'll give you five seconds. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> All right. It's Cat, Hazel, Jay, Trinity, Iris, Gria, Gloria, Steph again. Good job. Elizabeth and Juliana. Welcome to the top 10. Amazing. Good job. It's a book. It is an artistic expression of a book. <laughs> My nose is good. Thank you for asking. I told you guys... One day is all it takes for me to get better. <sighs> Fresh air. I'll give you one bonus question. I'm going to give you a bonus question, guys. And this is not an easy question. This is for like C1 English level. C1 English level. Um, I will teach you some new vocabulary. I'm going to draw the same thing. It's a book, okay? You don't have to guess that it's a book because it is a book. But the question is, guys, the question is, what is the name of the back of a book? What is the name of the back of a book? Sorry, I didn't write it correctly like this. But what is the name of the back of a book? It has a very funny name, the back of a book. The cover, yes, sometimes it's referred to as the cover. But I don't think you guys know this word. I didn't know this word until I just Googled it. <laughs> it's a very funny word. And it's literally, this is the official word. This is the official word for it. Spine, yes, you could, this is like... I'm talking about the back of the book. Sorry, my drawing is not that accurate. Um, the back of a book. The spine of a book. Yeah, you got to be careful with the spine of a book. People are actually guessing it because you Google searched it. Very good, guys. At least you're learning some new vocabulary. This is a bonus question, so don't worry. This is a bonus question. It's like a C1 or C2 English word. <laughs> I'll give you 10 seconds, because if you don't know, you don't know. 
Um, welcome, my friend. Welcome to the live stream. It's not the cover. Technically, you could say book cover, but that's the whole thing. I'm talking only about the back. And guys, did you know that you call the back of the book blurb? <laughs> I am not making this up. You can Google it. The back of the book is called a blurb. B-R-L-U-R-B. Blurb. <laughs> I, th I found this interesting fact and I thought I can check it out. The back of a book. If this is my book, if this is my book, this is the cover of the book. The cover is the front side of the book. The back side of the book, we can call the blurb. B-L-U-R-B, blurb. <laughs> How fun is that? How much fun is that? This book is called We Have No Idea because you didn't have any idea. Just like me. You learned some new vocabulary. <laughs> have you looked at the blurb of the book? <laughs> People will think you are lying. <laughs> anyway, that was a bonus question. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to tell you the top 10. Um, next up. Next one. It's just a funny word, I think. It's a funny word. <laughs> All right. All right. Listen, the next word I don't have to draw because I have it right here. You remember that this is called a cup. This is called a cup. But what do you call the bigger version of a cup? What do you call the bigger version of a cup? Normally not made of glass. Normally made of ceramic or something harder. Made the bigger version of a cup, which also looks like this, which I also have here. This thing. This is not a cup. This is a cup. What is the name of this thing? It is not a bottle. It is not a bottle. What is the name of this thing? It is not a cup either. You can guess, guys. You can guess. A saucer? I mean, you could use it. <laughs> a big cup. No, there's a specific name for it, guys. And I'll tell you in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. It's simply called a mug, M-U-G mug, guys, M-U-G mug. It's called a mug, the bigger version of a cup. So if you have a cup or a glass, you can have a tea glass or you can have a tea cup. This is a tea cup. You can also have a mug, which is bigger. Normally you'll use a mug for things like chocolate milk, but you can use it for tea, absolutely. Any other hot drinks, maybe hot wine, you can also put in a mug. <laughs> it's just more, it's just bigger. Uh, lies, Trinity, Pita, Jade, Dida, Sick, Gal, Iris, Kevin, and its cat, all in the top 10. Congratulations, congratulations. Jenny, uh, Pongo, uh, Budika, so close to the top 10. So close to the top 10. Good job, guys. Good job. Keep it going. Keep it going. Hello, everyone. If you just came in, we are doing a challenge. We are doing a challenge. And the challenge is guess the drawing. Guess the drawing. It's a Pictionaire. I am drawing. You are guessing. But uh, my drawing is not that good. So... Good luck! <laughs> Let's go to the next word, okay? Let me fix my hair and we'll go to the next word. There we go. All right. Next up. Next up. This is a very expressionistic drawing. The only thing I'm gonna draw for you is one circle and another circle inside that circle. Uh, two circles inside each other and um, 
my tip is that normally this thing is made of ceramic and is white. It is made of ceramic and it is white. Generally, it doesn't have to be, can also be made of plastic or even wood or stone even. It can be made of a lot of things. I am just looking for a simple, simple word. What is it? A white circle, maybe with a little indent in the middle and made of ceramic made of ceramic Man, you can put it on a table sure do we use it in a kitchen you absolutely can normally you'd be using it on the dining table five seconds five four three two one reveal the answer guys is simply a plate simply a plate bop, 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 bop. Bro, TikTok, stop bugging. Let me reveal. <laughs> All right. Kevin, you made it to number one. Congratulations. Olivia, Gail, Trinity, Sunshine, Sandy, John, Ashma, Gloria, and Gabriella. Welcome back to the top 10. Valerie, Melissa, and Six. So close to the top 10. It looks like a panda face. Maybe with my face inside it looks like a panda face sure why people keep guessing donuts i don't know i told you it's made of ceramic guys ceramic the material do you know the ceramic material good good a toilet bowl is also made of uh, ceramic so you could be confused by it <laughs> What are we talking about? The material of a normal plate, ceramic. All right, let's continue. I'll give you uh, two more easy words and then we'll move on to more difficult words. That's how this works, guys. Easy to difficult, easy to difficult. Well, the problem with this one though, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, is I don't know how to draw it. So this is going to be great. Um, let me think. Normally, it's just a square. Normally, this thing is just a square, but it's a very soft square. It is a very soft square. Um, and my tip is that uh, maybe you can do this. <sighs> That is my hint, guys. <laughs> is that a good tip? Does that help you out? Does that help you out, guys? It is a soft square you can put your head on. It's a soft square you can put your head on. What I realized when I came to China is often here it's a rectangle. I don't know in your country, but in the Netherlands, normally it's a square. And in uh, China, it's normally a rectangle. So you can guess what it is. You got uh, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. It is, of course, a pillow. Simply a pillow, guys. Pongo, my voice, Insuki, Vero, Lucas, Gloria, Trinity, Dida, PP, Pluto, all in the top 10. Congratulations. Liv, Iris, Olivia, and Cindy, so close to the top 10. So close. I told you my hint was you can put your head on it. You can put your head on it. Welcome, guys. We are guessing English words. We are guessing English words. Do you want one more easy one or shall we move on to more difficult ones? What do you say? Easy or difficult, guys? Easy or difficult? Yeah, John, you gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention because my drawing is not so good. <laughs> my drawing is not so good. <laughs> the explanation is just as important as my drawing. 
I'll give you another easy one, okay? Listen up, guys. Listen up. Um, all right. Boop, boop. I will make the stereotypical drawing from the TV, okay? It is a round thing, but I'm gonna draw it like you see in old TV shows. And uh, you, you will be able to guess what it is. Absolutely. Looks like this. Um... I think that's pretty amazing drawing, actually. That's a pretty good drawing, actually. <laughs> you could either, you could guess two things here, and I would count them both as correct, but I can only fill in one word in TikTok. So you have to guess which of the two words it is. Oh, I'll drink some milk. My milk! I'm making a mess. <laughs> Welcome to Lucas's live streams, which are absolutely perfect. Guess what it is? Five seconds. Five. Four. It is, of course, just a clock. Guys, remember, you ask for something simple. I, would, I wouldn't count alarm clock as simple. I wouldn't count alarm clock as simple, okay? <laughs> Lou number one, Dida, Mouse, Fourier, Gal, Blue, Josh, Kia, Asma, uh, Josa, all in the top 10. Welcome to the top 10, everybody. Welcome. Trinity, Denise, Ola, welcome. You're so close to the top 10. A clock. Because it's like an alarm. Yeah, but I was trying to draw a clock without making it too obvious. I think I succeeded. I think I succeeded. If this looks like an alarm to you, you are old. <laughs> I'm joking, okay? I'm joking. <laughs> Remember those... Uh, I, I really love 1980 movies and 1990 movies where you see this clock wake up. It's good. It's good. I like it. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's move on before I insult too many people. <laughs> it is a clock. Yes. Listen up. Next one, next one. Um, I think we can take a little step up. We can take a little step up. I'll give you an in-between word because this word is kind of difficult to draw. Listen to my explanation. I have got a rectangle. This is a rectangle in my room. It has a standard and uh, this blue guy this blue guy is Lucas, and Lucas is standing in front of the rectangle. He is like, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm looking solid, bro. I'm looking so good. But what is the name for the rectangle? That is the question. What is the name for the rectangle Lucas is standing in front of? Like today, you know, I'm doing my abs. I'm doing abs, I'm doing my forearms, and I'm looking into this rectangle, and I'm like, oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that shadow. Looking good. <laughs> what am I looking for? You got 10 seconds. I'll give you 10 seconds. I also have orange juice, by the way. We have everything today. Five, four, three, two, one. One. This is a really good sketch. Honestly, this is a really... And it's representative. Look at my arms, guys. Look at my... <laughs> Dota, Rachel, Gal, Hazel, Vero, Insuki, Jenny, Liz, Juliana, and Cindy. Welcome to the top 10. Congratulations. How do you draw on the screen? So there's a function in the bottom. You can open it. And it uh, has a draw and guess function, which I also use for the other challenges. It's not a blackboard. I told you, this is me today. I'll show you, okay? 
I go here and I'm like, whoo, looking good, man. Look at that shading. Yes. You gotta listen to the explanation. Gotta listen to the explanation. You forgot my name? I don't, was it in the top 10, my friend? It was not in my top 10, John. All right. You have another chance. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just joking with you guys. Calm down. Calm down. All right. Good guesses. Just a mirror. Just a mirror, guys. Mirrors are amazing. Have you ever seen Have you ever seen those cats or dogs looking in a mirror and seeing their reflection for the first time? It's so funny. It's so funny. You see the cats? So funny. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> here's the mirror. Let's move on, all right? Let's move on, my TikTok friends, to a step up. <laughs> I appreciate your support, guys. Welcome, we are doing an English challenge. Lucas is making horrible drawings and you have to guess what it is. So good luck. All right, I'm gonna help you out. We have a table. You do not need to guess table. Table is not the answer, but on the table, we have this thing, right? We have this thing and we have this plastic thing on top. It also has a lid. It also has a lid. Maybe it looks like this. And inside, in plastic, guys, and inside the thing on the table, you can put some fruits. Maybe you can put some fruits. Maybe you can put some banana in it. There you go. Give you a banana, guys. Maybe you can put some blueberries inside. Very good. And then, guys, um, with a little power cord and a circle right here, you press the circle and it goes like... What is it? That is the question. What is it? On top of a table, normally made of plastic, sometimes made of glass. Inside you can put some fruits, vegetables, and you can mix it, mix it, mix it. What is the name of the item? You got 10 seconds. Good impression. Hey, I give you those good impressions, guys. <laughs> it's not just blend. The item is called the item is called three two one a blender blender you blend the things inside blender very good aries Boudica, Bruna, Merle, Pungo, uh, AI Digital, User, Gal, Olivia and Mohan in the top ten Congratulations. Gloria Meredith, uh, Julie Sita. So close to the top 10. So close, guys. Keep trying. Mixer is also correct. In this case, blender is more specific. A mixer can be different things. Uh, you do not have to guess, guys, but this can also be a mixer. Like in the thing you hold and it has the two spatulas, as they are called. It has the two spatulas. This is also a mixer. And this is also a mixer. The thing with all the things that you is also a mixer. So blender more specific, okay? Blender is more specific. You like it? Good drawings, right? Good drawings. <laughs> all right. All right. What do you think so far? Do you like it? Yes or no? Then you can like the live stream. It helps. The more likes, the more people. Thank you so much for your support, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Pow, pow, pow. It's a speedy game. Yes. That's the thing with drawing. I cannot really draw things that are like difficult English words. Because I don't know how to draw. <laughs> I don't know how to draw. So, uh, it's just like a nice warm-up, a nice speedy game. 
Sometimes you gotta do English slowly, and this time we're doing it fast. All right, all right. Next up, next up, uh, guys. Next up. I'm gonna make it more difficult. Um, and I'm gonna give you hints so you can understand what I'm talking about. All right. Here we have uh, a normally made of metal thing. We have a metal thing. Enjoy your English class. Thank you. And the metal thing can have different arms. It can have different arms. And on top of the arms... Am I drawing the right thing? I'm not drawing the right thing, I feel like. <laughs> it could be drawn like this. I need a picture. I cannot draw it. I cannot draw it, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you. My drawing is horrible. Here, we'll do it the other way around. We'll do it the other way around because this is also called the same thing. But I wanted to draw, okay. Guess what it is. <laughs> it is a thing that hangs from the ceiling. Something that hangs from the ceiling, normally made of metal. It's normally quite big and heavy, and it has lights inside. It has lights inside. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is, guys? That is the question. That is the question. And how to spell the word? Remember, we're getting a little bit more difficult. It hangs from the ceiling, not from the walls. I would normally say that a curtain hangs from the walls. Um, a lamp. No, it's kind of like a lamp, but it's a very big lamp. It's a very big lamp. <laughs> I'm gonna swing from the... <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one... I'm gonna swing from the chandelier. <laughs> there you go, guys. From the chandelier. Heod, Kevin, Gloria, Andres, Gal, Lice, It's Cat, Pluto, Trinity, Pungo. Very good, very good. Yeah, it is the Sia. It is the Sia song. You are correct. Sia Chandelier. Chandelier. Good song, right? Do you like the song, guys? Do you like Chandelier by Sia? I think it's a good song. I broke this chandelier. Probably. I will break this chandelier. Sia is much smaller than I am. So if I hang on it, definitely going to break. I checked today. I'm 96. So we're doing well. <laughs> All right, all right, a chandelier, a chandelier. Let's continue, guys. I think we'll do about five more words, something like that. Five more words in the draw and a guess, okay? We are focused on the class. If you have any questions, I will answer them after the challenge. Next one, watch and listen. Watch and listen. This one, uh, I'm going to have to draw Lucas again. This is me, guys. This is me. Look at me with my big arms. With my big arms, of course. There you go. Um, and I'm holding something. I am holding something. Uh, maybe it can look like this. But don't guess too soon because it has a little cord going to like a bigger thing. It has a cord going to a bigger thing. Uh, it's not a barbell. <laughs> it has a cord going to a bigger thing. And uh, we can have some mess going in here. It's not a broom. It's actually two words. I am looking for two words, guys. Two words, not one word. Can you guess? what it is and i will probably use it i thought about using it today 
but I haven't had a chance yet. I'm I clean up, okay? I clean up. Just gotta use it. <coughs> cleaning service, Lucas cleaning service. Would you pay for that? <laughs> All right, how to type it, how to write it. I'll give you a few extra seconds, okay? I'll give you a few extra seconds just so you can process the word. Just so you can process the word. Housekeeping. Housekeeping! Five, four, three, two, one. Reveal. Of course, guys, I am talking about a vacuum cleaner. Noru, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it so much. Mo, you're number one. Let's go. Lucas. Uh, my guy Coog, Lies, Papita, Juliana, Melissa, Gal, Josh, and 30 all in the top 10. Good job. Good job, everybody. You are so fast. And with this terrible drawing, that's great. Mahal Mama. So close. So close. <laughs> a push cart and rake. No. I just have a vacuum cleaner, okay? But actually, my vacuum cleaner doesn't look like this. Uh, my vacuum cleaner looks like this, guys. Ugh. Give me my vacuum cleaner, bro. Because my room is small. I have a small vacuum cleaner, you know, the handheld ones, super comfortable, super nice. This is not a sale, um, but it is very good. Again, made by uh, Xiaomi. I got a Xiaomi vacuum cleaner, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. It was a miracle that we managed to guess it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Xiaomi can make everything, guys. Anything you want, they got. <laughs> Vacuum cleaner. All right. Let me continue. This is a classic model. My mom has this one. Um, but I have a small one because it's comfortable. I don't, need, I don't need the big stuff, okay? This is good enough. And you can take the thing off. So it becomes... Do you know the name of this thing, guys? Do you know the name of this thing? If it's not a vacuum cleaner? Anybody? No? There's a specific name for a small vacuum cleaner. There's a specific name. A bazooka. It's not the name. Not the name. <laughs> A water gun. Don't worry, you are you are not old enough. You are not old enough. <laughs> Hair dryer. It goes the other way. It it doesn't blow. It never mind. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Let's continue. I'll give you three more guys. Three more words and the drawing challenge is done, okay? Stop, stop commenting. Stop commenting. You want to be number one? Listen and watch. Listen and watch. Uh, again, a more difficult word. Oh, no, I mistyped the word. Lucas, can you not mistype? Can anybody type? Toaster over. <laughs> I wanted to do a toaster oven, but I mistyped toaster over. Can anybody type toaster over so I can finish it? Not toaster over. Yeah, thank you. Over. There you go. <laughs> a toaster over. I don't know what you can do with a toaster over. But uh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You're over. My heart. My heart. You say I'm over? <laughs> anyway. I'm first. That doesn't count. Okay, I gave you the answer. Don't worry, I have more words. <laughs> I have more words. Another one. And this time, I'm not going to mistype the word. All right. You are guessing something that is rectangular. 
Um, something that is rectangular, my hint is that you can use a knife. Here's a beautiful knife. And uh, normally you use the knife on top of this thing. This thing, normally made of plastic, can also be made of wood, can also be made of wood, wood or plastic. Wood or plastic. What is it? What is it? And some of you are guessing the synonym for the word, but I'm looking for the other other thing. Okay, I'm looking I'm looking for the other thing. What am I looking for? <laughs> You use a knife on it, normally there's food in between the knife and this thing. But it's just to protect your nice table, okay? It's to protect your table. How do we call it? How do we call it? You could call it a chopping board. Um, but normally chopping boards are made of wood. And in this case, I drew one that's made of plastic. What is it? What is it? You got five beautiful seconds to guess my beautiful drawing. Five, four, three, two, one. I made for you a beautiful, a beautiful TikTok. Let me reveal. Cutting board, guys. Chopping board is also good, but cutting board is the word I was using, looking for. Sunshine, Shang, very nice. Welcome to the top 10. J-S-N-E-N-N-E-N-E. -N 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 -E -N -E. Welcome. Mahamama, you made it. Happy heart style, Pongo, Gal, Eva, Dida, Papita, all in the top 10. Congratulations, Melissa, Cat Craze, and Kevin. So close. So close. Chopping board is the board normally made of wood. That's why I made the one with plastic. Because that's always referred to as a cutting board. All right. Two words left my boys and girls. My friends. <laughs> my English learners. <laughs> Maybe two, three words left. I have more words, so it's okay. All right. Here it comes. This thing, um, I'm not going to be able to draw well, but I guess um, if you see it on um, here, if you see it on TikTok, it normally looks like this. It has a very weird shape. But if I show you this, you will know what it is. If I show you this, you will know what it is. It is a thing that I thought about I need right now. Because the air in my room is so dry. So I need this thing. The air in my room is so dry. So I need to get this thing. This here, the top part is water vapor, water vapor. The top part that comes out is water vapor. And this thing you can also plug in. You can also plug it in and it will come out. Um, because that's what I figured out yesterday. My nose got better when I was taking a shower and the air was so full of water vapor, I felt better. So I need it in my room too. But what is the name for this item? What is the name for the item? Um, it starts with an H. I'll give you 10 seconds. I'll give you 10 seconds, my friends. <laughs> Ten, five, four, three, Two, one. I cannot check. I cannot reveal it. Did I mistype again? I mistyped it again. 
Lucas, you are such a good teacher. You mistype again. <laughs> My bad, guys. My bad. I wrote... What did I write? What did I write? You miff... Uh, you miff a dire? <laughs> I have... I have no idea what a humidifier is. Guys, if you have to guess, what is a humidifier? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think it is? A humidifier. Sounds sounds like a real word to me. Humidifier. Um Humidifier is nothing. <sighs> Disappointing. Disappointing. Uh Anyway, uh, you didn't see anything. Let's move on to the next word. Good job, guys. Whoever was number one, congratulations. Great job to you. Thank you for your gift. Uh, okay, 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 okay. This one has another two words. And this time I'm looking. I'm making sure I am writing it correctly. This thing uh, made of plastic normally. Maybe it has some glass. Here it has a little uh, thing on the top and there are some beans inside. There are some beans inside. There's a little cup in the bottom here, a little coffee cup. And it has two words, guys, two words. Um, normally there is a little uh, thing here and uh, water mixed with beans will come out into the cup. What is it? What is it, guys? You can guess. You can guess, guys. What am I looking for? <sighs> this time I didn't mistype, okay? Uh, we would not call it a maker. In this case, it is not a maker. Uh, I'm referring to something else. Well, I'm referring to the same thing, but with a different word. Because it is with beans, it is uh, fully automatic. <laughs> Shoo! That's what I'm referring to. <laughs> That's what I'm referring to. A big sneeze. You're getting another one. You want another one? <laughs> there you go. Give you another one. Give you another beautiful sneeze. This is the thing I need every single day, okay? I need it every single day, honestly. Otherwise, I couldn't be doing the things I'm doing for you guys. <laughs> Otherwise, I could never be doing the things I'm doing for you. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. It is, of course, a coffee machine. I was looking for the coffee machine. Juliana, Hiodi, Celeste, Kevin, Evelyn, welcome back. Lies, White Rabbit, Aries, Natalia, Pepita, all in the top 10. Congratulations. You guessed the word that I wrote correctly. <laughs> coffee maker, technically correct. So don't cry if you said coffee maker. Very acceptable. Very acceptable. <laughs> All right, all right. Very good if you're correct, guys. This is your vocabulary. This is your vocabulary. Uh, I'll give you two more. I'll give you, I'll give you one more, or two more. Hmm, let me think. Let me think if I know how to draw the last one. Otherwise, I'll give you one more. <laughs> all right, I'll give you um, two more. Here we go, another one where you need to type two words, where you need to type two words. It uh, could look like this and like this, with a little this and a little this, and then like this, it has a few strings like, now you know exactly, as I, I, you, now you know exactly what it is, especially if you keep your house clean, you will know what it is. Especially if you keep your house clean, you will know what this is. It has two words, guys, not just one word, not just one word. 
What is it? You are all so close. Finding the correct word. There is a specific word. It is not close hanger. There is another word, which is a better word for this specific thing. For this specific thing. I will help you out. It starts with a D. It starts with a D. It is a metal thing with two crossed legs. And it has metal strings where you can hang your clothing on after you wash the clothing. What is the official name for this metal thing? It starts with a D and the second word starts with an R. A D and an R. That is what I'm looking for. What word am I looking for? I'm gonna get the hot water. What word am I looking for? I'll give you the 20 seconds left because it's a difficult word. It's a difficult word. There's a specific English word I'm looking for. Thank you for your gift, my friend. Um, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. What is the item I hang my clean clothing on, but they are still wet, so I need to dry them. Of course, it is called a drying rack. Drying rack. Havaldi, Kia, Insuki, Roxana, Dida, Evian, uh, 30, Denise, Eva, It's Cat. Welcome to the top 10. Let's go. Drying Rack. Drying Rack is the official word, guys. Okay? Because if you do a clothing hanger, it can be a lot of different things. It can be a lot of different things. In this case, we call it a drying rack wreck drying wreck last word last word and that's it for the drawing we have two more challenges so don't worry i just came up with the second challenge so don't worry uh, a drying wreck last one uh very important to a lot of people it is the most difficult word i don't know if this is gonna fit It doesn't fit. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> it doesn't fit. Great. Then we'll just change the word. We'll just change the word to something easier. Last one. Is something that again has legs, but this one has three legs. One, two, three legs. Normally made of metal. Uh, could be made of plastic if it is cheap and on the top on the top of this thing you can uh, find a phone you can find a camera you can find uh, a light you can find many things if you like to you can find many things on top of this metal thing with three legs three Legs. What is the thing I'm looking for? You got 10 seconds to guess the word, the last word of today, because I don't have any more words prepared. <laughs> I mean, because we have to do two more challenges. Cannot make it too easy for you. <laughs> All right. What? is the thing I'm looking for. Three, two, one. I am, of course, looking for a tripod, guys. A tripod. Look, my little microphone here standing on a tripod. Kevin, number one, Kia, Pepita, Jenny, Bio, Hazel, Mouse, Celeste, AI Digital, Olivia, thank you so much. You all made it into the top 10. All right. You did it. Speaking, uh, drawing, challenge, done. Welcome back, everybody, to challenge number two. What do you think challenge number two is going to be? It is... Let's try to keep my hair where it's supposed to be challenged, which is impossible because my hair never listens. 
Um, challenge number two, guys. Challenge number two for today is kind of like a spelling bee. It's kind of like a spelling bee. It's kind of like the draw and guess I just did with you. I will say the word one time, not two times, not three times. I will say the word one time and you have to write the word. It's that simple. It's that simple. I say the word, you write the word. Another quick English challenge. How fast can you type with your little fingers, with your little mouse fingers on your phone? Let's find out. I think we're gonna find out. <laughs> I think we're gonna find out. <laughs> A spelling bee. I say the word, you type the word. Which means I have to first type the word, otherwise it's not gonna work. <laughs> The spelling B. Yes, the letter B, bro. You got it. So smart. Ha 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 ha. <gasps> All right, let's do it. Word number one. Word number one. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna write down the word and you have to guess. I'm not gonna draw anything. You just have to write. Um, the first word, guys. I will only say it one time. The word you have to write is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Who can be the fastest? Look at that speed. Look at that speed. Oh, the first five were faster, but it went from like five until 60. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this has to do with delay, but um, <laughs> type the word Wednesday. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see who was the fastest, who has the least delay compared to me. Probably an American, but there are not many Americans. Otherwise, it's Gal. Gal number one, Ava, Opal, Celeste, Papita, HSS, Dida, Noah, Sunshine, Kia in the top 10. Congratulations. Welcome to the top 10. Welcome to the top 10. iPhone swipe. Ooh, that's kind of cheating, isn't it? That's kind of cheating. Instead of typing, you're swiping. I just turned my monitor off. Give me a second. Give me a second, boys. Sorry. All right. But Opal, you were number one. So uh, we're going to find out if the next one you can be number one. Let's go. Remember, I will only say the word once and maybe I'll use it in a sentence. If you really don't know, I'll be nice. Word number two. February. February. It is almost February. How to write February? Five, four, three, two, one. Iwe in English, brah. Iwe is January in Chinese, not even February. Kia, Denise, it's Cat, HSN, Oxena, Gal, Ad uh, Adelia, Dida, Noah, and Beta Fish. Great name. Welcome to the top 10. My auto corrector doesn't know how to speak English. <laughs> That sounds like a you problem. That sounds like a you problem. You gotta install that English keyboard, guys. It really helps you out. It really helps you out. <laughs> February. And the last word was Wednesday. 
Great job, guys. Great job. Welcome to the top 10 if this is your first time. Let's continue. Let's continue. John, again, number one. I have not seen you in the top 10, John. Let me see where you are. What spot are you? I'm going to look and I'm going to scroll down. I have a John on 19, but it's not even you. Oh, no, it is you. You are on number 19 on my screen. <laughs> Listen, my screen counts, okay? Your screen is different. We all have a different delay. But I have the same. <laughs> all right. It is okay if you are later. Just guess the word. Word number three. Word number three. The word is debris. Debris. The word is debris. Like, if you don't clean your room, it's gonna look like a debris. <laughs> the dog pooped on the ground. It looks like debris. <laughs> Debris. Oh, this word is more difficult. It takes you more time to write the word. Why is that? Why is that? <laughs> I know why. But the question is, do you know why? Be careful of falling debris. <laughs> Auto correction. <laughs> Yes, it is not a common word. So if you try to autocorrect it, it, it's hard. Some of these words are less common. So your keyboard is not going to help you out. Debris. Five, four, three, two, one. Debris, guys. Debris. Uh, Kanapa, Kia, Mr. Ashri, Dio, Melissa, Oksana, Opal, Celeste, Denise, uh, Dinata, very nice. Debris. And you're like, Lucas, why is there an S in debris? What is going on? What is going You said debris. Where's the S? Well, I also said February. Where is the R? I also said Wednesday. Where is the ED? As you have figured out by now, all of these words have letters that are not in the pronunciation. All of the words I'm telling you today have letters that are not in the pronunciation. Like debris with a silent S at the end. Debris, guys is uh, normally from big objects. For example, uh, if a car crashes on the road, there's a lot of debris on the road. Debris. If a meteor falls from the sky, there's a lot of debris. It's just mess. Debris is mess. They are silent yes less letters. Yes. Debris. Havoc. Havoc is just the, the, the chaos, the chaos that is going on. You can say there's a havoc right here, but debris is the things on the ground. Normally, you would say something is debris if you don't know what it is. For example, a dog pooping on the ground, not really debris because you know what it is, sadly. But if a car breaks apart, there's just debris on the ground. A wreck is the rest of a car that is still together. Debris are all the loose pieces everywhere. Are all the loose pieces everywhere. Debris, guys, debris. D-E-B-R-I-S. Debris. See, you're learning English. <laughs> all right, everybody, let's continue the challenge. Now you know, I'm giving you words with silent letters with silent letters let's take it a step back let's take it a step back this is your next word island island dust is not debris 
I want you to type the word island. <sighs> Slurping. <laughs> Sorry. It's a natural habit of me to do when I'm alone. <laughs> island. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Like debris, island has a silent S after the I. HSS, Dida, Noah, Kia, Denise, Kanapa, Eva, Diana, It's Cat, and Jenny all in the top 10. Congratulations. Congratulations. They are very fast. Uh, you can be faster with a few things. You can use autocorrect sometimes with the easy words. You can use swipe, which is faster. Or you can type if you're watching me on TikTok on the laptop. Not sure why, but you can. <laughs> Island guys have a silent S. Has a silent S. When I was younger, I always thought it was Island. Island. It, it, I didn't get the silent letters, so I would always say, I really want to go to an island. <laughs> Makes more sense to me. Makes more sense to me. <laughs> I want to know, guys, before we move on to the next word. Anybody here that lives on an island? Anybody here that lives on an island? Tell me, guys. Tell me. Anybody here that lives on an island? Anybody here on Haiti? Anybody here on Sulawesi? Anybody here on Jakarta? Anybody here on uh, Madagascar? Anybody here on a Philippine island? I don't know their names. Bali is an island. Yeah, what's up? What's up, islanders? <laughs> Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Mallorca, also very nice. Very nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. Japan is a very big island. Yes. All right. Great, guys. I learned silent S. Next word. Listen up. Next word. Listen up. An islander. I can say if you live on an island, you're an islander. Um, mainlander, islander. All right. The next word, guys. You got to listen. Don't type, otherwise you're going to be too slow. The next word is receipt. Receipt. I am looking for a receipt. I want to return my clothing, but I don't have a receipt. How to type receipt? Not recite. I said receipt. Receipt is a tricky one. It has silent letters. How to type receipt? Lala. Not recipe. I am not looking for a recipe, guys. Receipt. For example, if you buy your clothing, you get a receipt. You'll go back to the store because your clothing is too small. You were too optimistic. They will be like, do you have a receipt? And you will be like, oh no, I lost my receipt, but I never wore it, so it's fine. It's fine. And they will say, sorry, without receipt, I cannot take it back. Receipt. 10, 9, 8, Bobo is correct. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one receipt receipt is a tricky word guys is a tricky word because there's a random p we have silent p's now uh kiat kevin peach denise dio uh trong farida shiv zalma celeste in the top 10 moo sunshine so close so close to the top 10 receipt um, if this is your first time typing the word receipt, congratulations, you just learned a new English word. Um, the receipt is the thing you get after you pay for something in a store. 
If they don't give you a receipt, ask for one. Okay, it's important to have a receipt. I don't know how to say this word if there's no silent letters. EI is like I, re recipe. Can I get the recipe? Please give me the recipe. <laughs> I don't think that sounds okay. That sounds a little bit strange. Invoice. Invoice is an easier word. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, my friends. Today we are doing a challenge. We are doing a spelling bee challenge. Spelling bee challenge. I say the word, you write the word. Can you be the number one? Let's find out. So far, I think uh, it is uh, Kia and Kevin who are mostly the number one. And Gal, of course. Will you teach Dutch, some Dutch someday? Absolutely, I will. Yes. You help me make English my full-time job and I have enough time to teach you Dutch. All right. Re received. Good. Next word. Next word. The next word is ballet. Ballet. Girls really like ballet. Not valley. <laughs> did, did you thought uh, <laughs> ballet? Girls really like ballet. I guess girls also like the valley, but not in this case. There's also boys that like ballet, okay? I'm not judging anybody. I'm not judging anybody. Marty, thank you so much, the Canadian teacher. I appreciate your support. Ballet. How to write ba ballet? Ballet? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Kevin, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Very kind of you. Give me a second, Kevin. I tried to press the reveal button. <laughs> thank you so much, Kevin. Pa, pa, pa. Oh, Angela, why we have a new number one? Opal, Celeste, Kia, Peach, Julio, Dida, Pepita, Valeria, Melissa, all in the top 10. Gal, Juliana, and uh, Nelly. Great name. So close to the top 10. Ballet, guys. B A L L E T. The T is silent. English, guys. English. I cannot remember. Does this happen in Dutch? I feel like this is such an English thing to do. Does Dutch have silent letters? I'm thinking in English right now, so I cannot think. <laughs> yes, silent letters are wonderful, are they not? Ballet. Ballet. Um, Dutch often has a silent N or NS, but that's pronunciation because we're lazy. It's not because they're not actually there. So it's only English. Thank you, English. We appreciate you. <laughs> ballet, ballet, B-A-L-L-E-T, ballet. All right, next one, next word. We're just gonna keep going, guys. Keep on guessing, you can be the number one. You can be the number one. The next word is very simple. Just now, I drew a cutting board with a knife. Knife. Write the word knife. And this is such a dumb word. I have no idea. There is no reason to put the letter there. Why is it there? I don't know. I think English was just like, let me make this language more fun. Yay! By the way, I make a video about this tomorrow. Tomorrow's video is irregular verbs, which are kind of like silent letters. Just why? So be sure to watch tomorrow's video on irregular verbs. <laughs> Five, four, Three, two, one. 
Valet. Uh, that was another word. Knife. Knife, guys, has a silent K. Julio, number one. Didak, Sander, Kevin, Angela Huey, uh, Caput, great name. Lollipop, Opal, Leith, and Nana. Welcome back to the top ten. Knife with the silent K. Somebody asked, what is ballet? The last word, ballet, is uh, the dancing. I'll show you ballet if I do this. You will know what ballet is, right? Okay, you got it. I don't have to do more. That's ballet. And a knife. Cut, cut those vegetables. Cut the meat. All right. Knife was the word. Easy word, right? Easy word. I think so. I think so. So uh, let's move on to a more difficult word. Which your autocorrect is not going to find. So good luck on this word. The next word. You know, I like big boats. And the expensive one, a yacht. I like even more. Yacht. Can you write the word yacht? <laughs> now, this is a difficult one. If you've never heard of it, it is hard to write. Yacht. Anybody see Conor McGregor on his Lamborghini yacht? Beautiful boat, beautiful boat. The Dutch are very good at building yachts. Normally, if you buy an expensive yacht, it either comes from Holland or it comes from America. Yacht. <laughs> it is an expensive boat. A pleasure boat. A yacht. Not yard. Guys, I am also describing, not giat either. I'm describing the word for you. <laughs> I can't spell it. Try it. Copy the other people. <laughs> Yacht. <laughs> I'll give you 10 seconds. Not YouTube either. Yacht. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. A yacht, guys. It is a very difficult word if you do not know. Yacht. Y A C H T. Yacht. Trinity, number one. Sunshine, number two. Xander, nice job. Angel, Hui, Dida, Julio, Papita, Jenny, Chong, and Nana, and C I K in the top 10. Christian and Kaput. So close to the top 10. So close. Yacht. Yacht is an expensive boat. Normally we say a pleasure boat is a yacht. Like, like I said, Conor McGregor or those billionaire yachts. Yacht. A food for an edit, steak. But steak doesn't have any silent letters. So you're not going to get that for the spelling B. Another word you are going to get for the spelling bee is one I'm going to write down right now. And this word, guys, is a pretty beautiful, especially on around Christmas. The word is choir. Choir. I am looking for a choir. Like the people singing together. A choir. The people singing together. Officially coming from the church, I think, like a church choir. Or I really like it with Christmas, the Christmas choir. Those are quite good. How to write choir. This, these are difficult words. Don't worry, the next word, we're going to take a step back. Make it a little bit easier again. Choir. How to write choir. Choir. I really like those, those Christmas choirs. It always makes me think of Home Alone when in the first movie he goes to the church and he sits there and he listens to the Christmas choir. 
Very nice. Very nice. Choir. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Choir, guys, is C H O I R. Angela, hey, in the number one spot, it's Cat Gal. Welcome back, Kiet. Welcome back, Xander, Kevin, Denise, D Diana, How Khan, Dida. Welcome to the top ten. Choir was is a difficult one. C H O I R, and you pronounce it choir. K K K K W I R, choir. C W I E R. Qu Never mind. I don't. If you ask me, Lucas, why do we pronounce this choir? I'll tell you. I have no idea. Okay, I have no idea. <laughs> Sometimes, guys, you just have to accept that it is this way. Sometimes you just have to accept things. Like tomorrow with the irregular verbs. It's just the way it is. Just the way it is. <laughs> Officially choir. O I R is ir ir. There's a little silent O in there. And qu 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 choir. H can sound like W with the C. Blah blah blah. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's take it a step back, okay? We'll take it a small step back, give you some breathing space, give you some breathing space. This, guys, is a word I had in my challenge a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago in the challenge, I asked you for the word colonel. Colonel, like the colonel in an army. If ever you are learning silent letters, this is a word that comes up quite often. A kernel. How to write kernel. Like the guy in the army, the rank in the army. Or if you're playing games, you can also have the rank of kernel. I would say a kernel is quite highly ranked because it is higher. Is it higher than a lieutenant? A kernel? I don't remember. I don't remember. But a kernel is a great example of silent letters. It's a great example of silent letters. Definitely not an easy one. The guy in the army I'm looking for. I'm not looking for the singer, Chris Cornell. <laughs> Isn't kernel obsolete? I wish it was. I don't know if in practice he is absolute, but the word. <laughs> Thank you so much, my Canadian friend. I appreciate so much your support. Very kind of you to help me out. Colonel, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much, my Korean friend, for the little heart. The little heart helps a lot. Colonel, guys. C O L O N E L Colonel Uh I don't even want to talk about it. Kevin Shkashka uh, Devi It's Cat Christian Celeste Trinity uh Naleli Kaput Kip Welcome to the top ten. I don't even want to talk about it. It's a spelling bee, correct, Betty. You instantly got it. Welcome to the spelling bee. <laughs> Colonel. <laughs> this is one of the first words I learned when I was learning silent letters. Like knife, Colonel is quite a uh, common. Common? A common what? Oh my. Anyway. Anyway, we'll do a few more. Maybe two or three more words for the spelling bee. It's a spelling bee because I say the word. You have to spell it while typing it. Technically, you have to say it. But in this case, you can type it. No entiende. Just watch. And you will understand. You will entiende. <laughs> There's no R in kernel. <laughs> yes, welcome to English. <laughs> Welcome to English, my friend. All right. 
All right, I'm gonna write down the next word. And uh, this is probably... These are the difficult words, guys. So you gotta think about it, okay? I am looking for the difficult word of maze. I'm looking for the word labyrinth. Labyrinth. How to write the word labyrinth? It's like a maze, like a puzzle. But I need the difficult word. Labyrinth. Labyrinth. I actually don't know the difference between a labyrinth and a maze. I feel like a maze is easier, just because the word is easier. But I'm looking for a labyrinth. All right. The difference between mazes and labyrinth, labyrinthus, labyrinthus, <laughs> I butchered that, is that a labyrinth has a single continuous path. Well, there you go. Now we learn something. A labyrinth has a single continuous path, which leads to the center. As long as you keep going, you will get there. So English is like a labyrinth. English is like a labyrinth. As long as you keep going, you will get there. <laughs> nice, nice. Good to know, good to know. Labyrinth, guys. How to write the word labyrinth? Five, four, three, two, one. And mazes do not? No, so that's the difference. A labyrinth has one continuous path and a maze has the split paths. A maze can go left or right, while a labyrinth always has just one path. It's just a very long path. Denise, Caroline, uh, Christian, Kia, C. Leiter, McKig, Celeste, Kevin, Trinity, and Nalali. Welcome to the top 10. Now we learned something. I learned some. I didn't know the difference. So a labyrinth does not have any dead ends. English is like a labyrinth. As long as you keep going, you will get there. <laughs> you will get there, guys. <laughs> labyrinth. All right. All right. That's nice. That's nice. We're Larry. You got third. Nice. Talking about third. We'll do three more words. Everybody who is just new, we are doing a spelling bee. I say the word, you write the word. That's how you learn English. We are at the difficult words. We're at the difficult words. No more Wednesday, no more February. Difficult words. Thank you for your support, guys. I appreciate it. Here is your next word. Here is your next word. I want you to type the word... I want you to type the word psychology. I don't want you to type the word pneumo ultra microscopic xylicovolcaniosis. I want you to type the word psychology. Hello? The word psychology, guys. Get me the word psychology. Taking a step back, okay? Gotta breathe sometimes. How to write the word psychology? <laughs> I'm helping you out. I'm helping you out, guys. I hope you realize that. Psychology. Psychology? But why is it not psychology? It starts with a P. <laughs> psychology, guys. We have had silent L's, silent R's, silent K's, and silent S's. But right now we got a silent P. I, can every English letter be silent? I don't know. Actually, I can Google it, but I don't know. Can every English word be silent? Every English letter. Dumbo, you have 10 seconds, by the way. 10 seconds, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, psychology, 
psychology, guys. I helped you out. It starts with the letter P. Kevin, number one, Denise, Pepita, Eduardo, nice, Ava, it's Ken, Gal, Kiat, Sea Lighter, and Carden Cardenas, great name, my friend, great name, Dio, Celeste, and Nena, so close to the top 10, so close to the top 10, psychology, just like Psyduck from Pokemon, Psyduck, uh, and I just googled, by the way, uh, every single English letter can be silent, except for one English letter. There is one nice English letter which will never be silent, which is the letter V. Now you know. I learned something new tonight. I learned two new things tonight. <laughs> the letter V cannot be silent, all the other 25 letters can be silent in English. Apparently, the B can also be silent. Um, apparently, the B can also be silent, and I can give you the word. Write the word tomb. Tomb. Like pharaohs are buried in a tomb. How to write the word tomb? I didn't say dumb. <laughs> I said the word tomb, guys. <laughs> There's your silent B. But where do you put the B? I don't know. I don't know. It's your spelling not mine. Where do we put the B in a tomb? Not thumb. I know thumb also has a silent B. But I'm asking for the word th tomb, where you bury pharaohs and knights. Although I guess knights are often buried in cathedrals, not in tombs. Like Tomb Raider. Yes. Come on, we gotta get the original Tomb Raider, okay? If you know. Guys. Original Tomb Raider, if you know what I mean. This is for the guys, okay? They will know what I mean. Anyway, tomb, tomb. Five, like a grave. Yes, that tomb. Four, three, two, one. All right. Tomb is simply T-O-M-B. Tan, number one, very good. Dinata, Diana, Diana, Melissa, Viviana, Mai, Opal, Kia, Celeste, Oxana, all in the top 10. Kevin, so close. Happy Heartstyle, so close. Kiyuki and Christian, so close to the top 10. <laughs> Tomb, not thumb. I, guys, you gotta pay attention, okay? You gotta pay attention. <laughs> you used to you? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, three more words in this spelling bee and we are done with the challenge. Three more words. Can you make it to the top 10? Listen up, listen up. What word shall we do? This is a word I did in last week's challenge. This is a word I did in the challenge last week. How to pronounce the word epitome. Epitome. Now you have to write the word epitome. How to write the word epitome. Guys, go, go, go. Epitome. I have done it in my challenges twice, the word epitome. Just because it's a beautiful word. It's a beautiful word. A person or a thing that is a perfect example of a particular quality or type. Epitome. Not that epitome. Nope. Nope. <laughs> what is an example of an epitome? The cartoon character Garfield is the epitome of lazy, food-obsessed cat. This word will trick you because that's the point of this word. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting it, guys. Epitome. Epitome is like an extreme example. Epitome is like 
e maybe even a perfect example. Like, the epitome of people who don't care, for example, is Elon Musk. He doesn't care about anything or anyone. He just buys Twitter. He doesn't care. He is the epitome of not caring. Maybe I'm the epitome of very average live streams. The epitome. There's no why in epitome, guys. Huh. I should be the epitome of perfect English teaching, okay? I know. Only 30 people guessed it because it's really hard to write. It's really hard to write. It is not... It doesn't have a Y at the end. It doesn't have <laughs> double E in the beginning. It's not an epidemic. Epitome is a really difficult word. I'll help you out, guys. Epitome. E P I T O. M E epitome. It's the epitome of everything. Epitome. Gal, Kiet, Celeste, Sick, Jale, Villa, Ska, Christian, Ava, Dida, Glacial, Noah, Nalali, in the top. Ten. Great job. Epitome. It's like the perfect example or the extreme example, like they just said. Garfield is the epitome of lazy and food obsessed cats. Lucas will be the epitome of success. Number one English teacher coming your way with free English videos and free English live stream every day. All right, two letters left, two words left, I should say, sorry. Two words left. Two words left. I don't know how to pronounce that word, so I cannot give you the word. <laughs> There's a word I do not know how to pronounce because I never eat them. Anyway, uh, I, I know how to pronounce this word. <laughs> so, uh, guys, a really big wave is a tsunami. How to write tsunami. How to ride Tsunami. The very big wave. You have two words left. Two chances to get the top ten. Tsunami. Japan has a problem of tsunamis. Tsunamis. It's a problem, guys. A tsunami, very dangerous. You gotta watch out for those tsunamis. Very dangerous. Absolutely. <laughs> there is a silent letter, and it is the letter T. Even though I like pronouncing it. Just like psychology, it just sounds funnier than psychology. It's the same with tsunami, it just sounds better than tsunami. Um, anyway. Five, four, three, two, one. A tsunami is a wave created by either uh, glaciers falling in the water or earthquakes. A tsunami is a giant wave, a big, big wave. Tsunami, tsunami. Uh, T-S-U-N-A-M-E. It's Kat, Dida, Annelie. Liz, Gal, Noah, um, Dinata, great name. Pepita, the spinning cat, also a wonderful name. Nana, all in the top 10. <laughs> tsunami! You know, the, Japan has a lot of tsunami problems, so... Uh, <laughs> let's move on. We'll do... Uh, okay, we'll do two more words. I'll give you two more words. But they are really difficult. Okay, two words, the most difficult words I can give you because I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I have to search up the pronunciation <laughs> because I never eat this. All right, that is your tip already. The word I'm looking for is a quinoa seed. I'm looking for the quinoa seed, guys. Is that how you say it? Quinoa. Quinoa. How to write quinoa? 
the quinoa seed you can eat. Quinoa. 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 I've never said this word out loud. Not a kiwi, guys. Quinoa. I've never said this word because I don't eat them. So, uh, yeah, that's how it goes. I don't eat vegetables. Sorry. Quinoa is a seed. Quinoa. How to write quinoa. Quinoa. <laughs> this is just, this is turning into Lucas, your English teacher, struggling with English. Um, but that's okay. We all gotta learn. Uh, quinoa. Quinquader. Conquad. Quinoa. Not like kiwi, guys. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Quinoa is a quinoa seed. It's like a... It's a seed. I don't know what else to tell you. It's a seed, guys. Quinoa. It's not quinoa. It's quinoa, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, Google. Appreciate it. Let's see who is in the top 10 of quinoa seeds. Who eats a quinoa seed? The Le Villa, Gal, Celeste, A, uh, Kiyuki, Liz, uh, Lagaya, Anneli, The Spinning Cat, and Karina all in the top 10. Ow. We have one word left for the spelling bee of today and we're gonna find out who did the best one word left and it can be it can be no other word than this uh very popular word um a very popular word i'm gonna give you the word and i'm gonna go to the toilet that's how confident i am not everybody will guess it <laughs> By the way, uh, oh no, I'm, I'm typing it correctly. All right. The word I want you to write is... Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yes, got it on the first try. Worcestershire, guys. How to write Worcestershire. Like the Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. How to write Worcestershire. Uh, good luck. I'm gonna go to the toilet. I'll be back in half a minute. You did. <laughs> 16 people so far wrote it correctly. Worcestershire, guys. I'll give you the whole time. You have 40 seconds left. Worcestershire. 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 <laughs> Worcestershire. It's, it's one of the most tricky English words to pronounce just because it has so many silent letters. Not just one silent letter, it has like five silent letters. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> you have 10 seconds. Worcestershire. 29 people guessed it so far. Good job, guys. Good job. Worcestershire. Yeah, you can say Worcestershire sauce. But I just want the word Worcestershire. I knew you would pick the word. I'm predictable. What can I say? <laughs> What's the share, guys? Um, let me see. Ava, number one. Gal, Kevin, Celeste, the Spinning Cat, Trinity, Anna, Lee, Liz, Melissa, and Happy Heartsell in the top ten. What's the share? You pronounce it as W U S T U H. What's the share? S H R. But you write it. <gasps> 
W O R C E S T E R S H I R E Worcestershire English guys that is English for you this was the spelling bee congratulations to anybody that guessed words let's see how good you did let's see how well you did our spelling bee today i want to know oh guys are you ready for challenge number three of today challenge number three while well, my hair is getting worse that you know the time live stream is going on when my hair is getting worse. challenge number three guys this is how it works Let me close the content. Uh, there it is. All right. Challenge number three. We can do in two ways. We can do in two ways, actually. That's how creative I am. I'm kidding. Challenge number three, guys. Um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spell a word for you. I'm going to spell a word for you but i'm gonna spell the word backwards i'm gonna start at the end of the word and go to the beginning of the word and you have to write the word for example if uh, i say e l p p a you write apple got it i start at the end of the word you so listen because in the beginning they are short words very simple but they become longer and longer <laughs> 100k likes by the way thank you so much for your support i appreciate it so much thank you so much pa, 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 pa. this is a new challenge we have never done this backwards spelling of a word so let's see if it is fun or not and if it's not fun I got another challenge as a backup. We're just gonna try it, okay? We're gonna try it. Um, so this poll is gonna disappear, otherwise I cannot do the challenge. <laughs> this is your last chance to click the poll. Um, end. All right. Ba -ba 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 -da. Here we go, guys. Here we go. The first word. Spelled backwards, I'm starting at the end of the word, is D-R-O-W. What is the word? D-R-O-W. I'm starting at the end of the word, guys. You have to turn it around. I am not spelling drown, I'm spelling the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spelling a word from the back of the word. What word am I spelling? This is a very good exercise because this exercise makes you visualize the letters. It makes you visualize the letters of a word. And in this case, five, four, three, two, one, it makes you visualize the word, word. <laughs> Juliana, Ava, uh, Hug, Dida, Kevin, Joa, Annalie, Peach, uh, Maria, and Gal, all in the top 10. Reverse words. I am spelling the word from the back. The word is word. <laughs> Tricked you. Tricked you visualization of the words i am helping you out i'm doing this i'm doing this maybe this is gonna help you out because i'm spelling the word from the back okay listen up listen up next word is not word the next word is not word i can promise you that it's also not next the next word listen up r E T T 
E L R E T T E L. What is the word? I am spelling in reverse. What is the word I'm spelling in reverse? I think it's orange juice time. In the meantime, what is the word I am spelling? I'll do it one more time. R E L <laughs> T T E L. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. This is a challenge for me too, okay? This is a challenge for me too. Cheers. A rattle. I don't know what a rattle is. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no clue what a rattle is. But the word I was spelling, guys, is of course letter. Letter. Ari, number one. Congratulations. Makik, Celeste, Trinity, Dida, Kia, Denise, Papita, Peach, and the Spinning Cat. Welcome to the top 10. The word was letter. I am spelling the word backwards. Remember? Backwards. I'm starting at the end to the beginning. Like Arabic. All right. <laughs> This is orange juice. This is not the word. The or word is not orange juice. Let's keep some simple words going. The next word, guys. D A E R. D A E R. It's not drown. <laughs> What is the word I spelled in reverse? What is the word I spelled in reverse? Raquel, I start at the last letter. You have to start at my last letter. So if I say D-A-E-R, your word starts with the R. It is orange juice, yes. Changje. Oh, it also says in English. <laughs> juice, orange. <laughs> oh, it says orange juice. I just. Okay, never mind. I need to read better. Apparently, I need to read better. The word, guys, is read. Read, okay? Uh, Ari, Marken. Biguesa, Celeste, Kevin, Alma, Peach, The Spinning Cat, Hawk, Makik. Top 10. Congratulations. Pepita, Ong, Vanessa. So close to the top 10. <gasps> Uh-oh, I misclicked again. Uh, but you can spell this word too. That's fine. Good job. The next word. I randomly clicked a word by accident. So the next word is... N I A R B N I A R B What is the word? N I A R B What is the word? I am spelling in reverse. The opposite is what I'm spelling is NIRB. NIRB. What is the opposite of NIRB? <laughs> NIRB. What is the word I was spelling? N-I-A-R-B. What is the word? It's not Airbnb. Nope, that's not a word. Good guess though, good guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, five, four, three, two, one. The word I was spelling in reverse was brain. Brain. Ari again in the number one spot. Celeste, Kia, Peach, Marken, Kevin, Makik, the spinning cat, Maria, and Juliana. Yes, brain, how, how you are right. 
brain. <laughs> confusing, right? Two vowels in a row becomes very confusing if you turn them around. I get it. I get it. Brain was a bonus word. I, I misclicked. Um, but still, you get it. Brain, what does it mean? If you don't know what it means, you don't have one. All right. <laughs> um, here we go. Here we go. The next word for you to guess. The next word for you to guess. E T I R W. Nah. E T I R W. What word is it? What word is it? <laughs> what is the word? I am spelling in reverse. See, you could copy from other people, but to really learn English, you gotta be as fast as you can. I'm gonna visualize the letters. Feel it. Feel it in your bones to figure out what the letter and the word is. I T E O E T I R W. Sorry. I don't know. The word. Five. Four, three, two, one. The word I was spelling in reverse was, of course, the word TikTok. Thank you. Right, right. Ava, you took the number one spot. Ari, so close. Marken, Celeste, Anna, Kian, Alma, Hug, T and E, Denise in the top 10. Maria, Iris, and Julian, so close to the top 10. <laughs> Whoo! What do you think, guys? Is this easy or difficult? We're gonna keep going. I just wanna know. Do you think it's easy or difficult? <laughs> I'm just curious. Uh, I think it is easy to be like the number 50 or 60, but to try to be the number one, it's more complicated. And also because I'm using my fingers, it makes it easier. So I'll stop using my fingers. Let's see if you still think it's easy. Let's find out if you still think it's easy. All right, here we go. Here we go. The next word. Boop. Without me using my hands. Here we go. The word is uh, K A E P S. K A E P S. What is the word I just spelled for you? I don't know, man. I don't know. What is the word I just spelled for you? What do you think? What do you think, guys? You're guessing it correctly. Five, four, three, two, one. Time, time. The word I spelled in reverse was the word speak. TikTok, can we stop bugging? Thank you, TikTok. Kia, number one. Ari, number two again. Marken, Kevin, Denise, Lamia, uh, Maxique, Celeste, and Papita Alma in the top 10. Congratulations. Karina, Veronica, Trinity, Shilin, so close to the top 10. The word was speak. I know, it's confusing. The EA, turn around. It's okay. Hey, it's only going to get more difficult. <laughs> you thought it was going to get more easy? <laughs> Absolutely not. Guys, welcome everybody. Today we're doing a challenge. I am spelling an English word 
in reverse. I start at the end of the word. You have to write the word. Let's go. Let's continue. Let's continue. Um, <laughs> this word is really weird. This word turn around looks really weird. All right. I wrote it in reverse. Oh no. <laughs> I wrote the word in reverse. This is how confused I'm getting. Guys, how to write the word grammar in reverse? How to write the word grammar in reverse? This time I made a mistake. I wrote the word in reverse. How to write grammar in reverse? Can somebody type it so we can do the next one? How to write grammar in reverse? <laughs> it looks so weird. Like... The G not being at the beginning of grammar makes it look so weird. Remarg. Remarg. Do you like remarg, guys, or do you not like remarg? <laughs> we can also do it like this, the challenge, but I was not planning on doing that. <laughs> That's very funny. You are totally correct, guys. I'll give you 10 seconds to do it and we'll do the right way of doing it. <laughs> All right. You, you can see it's getting later. I'm starting to make mistakes. Don't worry about it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Whoever helped me out. Kevin, thank you so much. You're number one. Celeste, number two. And Tan, number three. I'm um, doing it in reverse of the reverse. Uh... Annalie, Dida, Pepita, Eva, Kiat, It's Cat, and Trinity. I'll give it to you, okay? Good job. All right, the next word. This time, write the word properly. Write the word properly. I'm spelling the word from the last letter, okay? I'm starting at the last letter of the word. H S I L G N E. That is the word. H S I L G N E. What word am I spelling in reverse, guys? Visualize that English. Feel it. An E in the beginning and then an N. Okay, what, what did he say as a third letter? H S I L G N E. What is the word, guys? What is the word? If you like these English challenges, be sure to follow me for these free challenges every Wednesday and Saturday on the live stream. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Reveal! So much tension. I was spelling the word English, English in reverse. Kiad, Ava, Celeste, uh, Miriam, very nice, Jigs, Makik, Trinity, Josephine, and Sheelian and Hug made it into the top 10. Congratulations. The opposite. It's getting more difficult. It's getting more difficult, especially with these double consonants beside each other. Thank you so much. For your support, Sega, very kind of you. Let's continue. Next word. Next word. The next word, guys. The last letter of the next word is Y C N E U L F. One more time. Y C N E U L F. What word am I spelling in reverse? What word am I spelling? Take the letters, turn them around. What word do they make? My Hungarian friend, welcome back. Good to see you here, Dora the Explorer. Um, what word am I spelling? I'll do it one more time. Y-C-N-E-U-L-F. I'm spelling. Can you figure it out? I'll give you five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Uh, 
time is up. I was spelling the word fluency, guys. Kian, Ava, Kevin, Josephine, Daniela, Vanessa, Trinity, Peach, Makik, and Skashka. Welcome to the top 10. Congratulations. Fluency. Fluency, guys. Fluency. You all want to reach English. Fluency, right? You gotta keep practicing. By the way, I believe English fluency is not one point. Just you keep talking, keep practicing every day. That's fluency. Good job! Are you ready for the next word? We're just gonna keep going. You already bought your backpack. Nice. <laughs> All right. The next word is something you sometimes ask me for. It ends with the S M O I D I. Huh? Double eyes? What's going on? One more time. S M O I D I. What is the word? Ooh. Remember, I am starting at the end of the word. So my last letter is your first letter. That is the challenge, guys. Half of the challenge is understanding the challenge. <laughs> you gotta turn around what I say. So if I say SM, then the last two letters R M S. Last time S M O I D I. The word I'm looking for. Five, four, three, two, one. I should do like the voice. I should do like the powerful voice. Anyway, I was uh, looking for idioms, guys. Idioms. Kevin, Josephine, Wani, Peach, Ava, Buzz, Iris, Anna, Margie, and a Baby. Welcome to the top 10. User, Donata, and Maggie. So close. So close to the top 10. Idioms. You always ask me for idioms. I always tell you, try not to use idioms. People are going to get confused, okay? People will get confused if you keep using idioms. And then you'll be like, just bite the bullet, man. Just bite the bullet. You can do it. And they're like, what? You got it. <laughs> All right. Next word. Now you're scared. I can see you are ready because you're not typing in chat. You know how it works, guys. You know how it works. Good. Here it comes. It is a longer word. Listen up. <laughs> E C N E T N E S. One more time. E C N E T N E S. What is the word I am spelling backwards? What is the word I'm spelling backwards, guys? What is the word I'm spelling from the end to the beginning? What is the word? <laughs> do, 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 do. Hope you like this challenge, guys. Every Wednesday and Saturday we are doing these challenges. Every Wednesday and Saturday. So don't worry. If today you are not making it, you have another chance on Saturday with new challenges. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I try my best. The word is sentence. Sentence. I was spelling the word sentence. Kevin, Kiat, so uh, Josephine again. It's Kat, Daniela, Peach, Ruby. Uh, hug, Makik, Vanessa, all in the top 10. Coffee, Vanilla, so close. Leticia, Eliza, so close to the top 10. Good job. Good job. It's not easy, right? It's not easy. And it's only going to get more difficult. No, we'll do only a few more words. Don't worry about it. You got it, guys. You got it. 
By the way, even ha if you have not noticed it yet, all the words have to do with English learning. All the words I'm giving you have to do with English learning. All right, let's continue. <coughs> This word, you gotta be fast, it's an easier word. The word is, I'm not gonna show you my hands, S-E-S-N-E-T. S-E-S-N-E-T. What is the word? What is the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Who can type the fastest? <laughs> Kian and Kevin are really fighting to type as fast as they can. <laughs> Are you like, da, 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 da. and you're like mistyping? You're like, no! <laughs> I can imagine, I can imagine. You're doing great, guys. You're doing great. Yes, yes. S E S N E T. One of the most difficult parts about English speaking for a lot of people. This is how you should be liking my videos. <laughs> Lucas uploads a new video. <laughs> Lucas is asking for support. <laughs> Lucas is handsome. <laughs> All right. The word, of course, the word I was spelling, guys. Thank you for ruining your hair. Is... Tenses. Tenses is the word. Kiat, Kevin, Def, Course, Pat, Baby, Christine, Peach, Anna, Josephine, Buzz, all in the top 10. Good job, guys. Good job. You are doing great. Celeste and Trinity, Sweet Potato, so close to the top 10. It's because I wash my hair, so it can go anywhere. My hair has free will. Look at that bounce. Anyway. Let's continue. <laughs> tenses, guys. Tenses are difficult. Tenses are absolutely difficult. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What you should be worrying about is the words that are coming up. Because they're going to be difficult. <laughs> All right, the next word. E-V-I-S-S-A-P. E V I S S A P. What word am I spelling backwards? Data! Oh no, there's no S! E V I S S A P. What is the word? What is the word? Hmm. What does this word have to do with English learning? That was a good question. One that I could answer. <laughs> but I'm not going to. It's not part of the challenge. Yeah, they are flowery. They're really, really fast. They're like high-speed trains, you know? You think you are fast in your car? High-speed train. Gone. Yes, that's it. The word I was spelling in opposite was, of course, the word passive. Guys, the word is passive. P-A-S-S-I-V-E. Passive. Uh, Celeste, Christine, Kevin, Makig, Josephine, Gabrielle, Baby, Da, Pepita, Peach, all in the top 10. Hug, Dida, Maria, so close to the top 10. Passive. Passive versus active. We always say you have an active voice and a passive voice. Now you know. <laughs> 
All right, we're gonna do three or four more words and they are gonna be difficult. So anybody has a shot. In this case, it's not about how fast you are. These words are just difficult. Three words, the most difficult words. Here we go. I need to make sure I'm typing the word correctly. <laughs> Here we go. L A N O I T I D N O C. Ah, one more time. L A N O I T I D N O C. What is the word? Turn around. <laughs> I am spelling the word backwards. Remember, you have to write the word normally. L A N O I T I D N O C. What is the word? What is the word, guys? What? I can't. What? 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 What is the word? Starting with a C. What is the word I just spelled backwardsly? Backwardsly? <laughs> sure, Lucas. Backwardsly. Um. All right. It is a difficult word. I'll give you five seconds. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> the word I was looking for is conditional. Conditional. Like conditional verbs and conditional sentences. Uh, Josephine, number one. Trinity. Kiat, Kevin, Peach, Daniela, the spinning cat, Val, Ria, Patri, Biguesa, Anna, Iris, Christine, also great job. Conditionally. Ooh, conditional. That is difficult. Like, this is advanced English grammar. So, don't worry if you don't know it. These are the most difficult words of today. So, don't worry about it. Conditional just means in simple English... It depends on something. It depends on something. Like tomorrow, uh, irregular verbs, they depend on nothing. They're just random. But uh, conditional sentences and the conditional verbs. All right. Two more words. How to memorize words. Watch today's video. It's literally called how to memorize words. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to learn how to remember all this vocabulary we are doing today, watch today's video, guys. It is literally how to remember <laughs> vocabulary. Two more words. Two last words. Here we come. Here we go. Here we come. Here we are. Here we are going to. All right. And they're difficult, remember? The last letter of the word is an E, V, I, T, C, N, U, J, B, U, S. Ooh, one more time. E, V, I, T, C, N, U, J, B U S. It is not conjunctive. The first letter is an S, not a C. It is not a P. It's an S. One more time. E V I T C N U J B U N S B U S. <laughs> What word am I spelling from the last letter? What word am I spelling from the last letter? See you next time. Pa, pa, pa. What word am I spelling, guys? 
If you don't know, you just don't know. And that's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, you can copy from now on. It's okay. It's okay. It's a very difficult word. <laughs> All right. The word I was looking for is subjunctive. And now we're getting into B2, C1, English territory. Anybody have any clue what subjunctive means? Pepita, Asema, Bunda, Baby, Shilin, Anisha, Daniel, Candy, Rock, Cat, and Yin War in the top 10. We got a new top 10. Very nice. Subjunctive, guys. Subjunctive. Um, subjunctive comes from a subjunctive mood. It basically just means a hypothetical wish or scenario. For example, if your baby says, I wish I were an astronaut. I wish I were an astronaut. That is a subjunctive mood. Subjunctive mood. <laughs> <laughs> Tricky words. That's the point, guys. That's the point. Subjunctive mood. I wish I were the number one English teacher on TikTok, but I'm going to be, so I don't need to wish for it. Uh, on the opposite side of subjunctive is indicative. Indicative. Indicative is, for example, if you say it's sunny today, it's sunny today. That's an indicative mood it's a fact subjunctive is an idea a hypothetical <laughs> I, this is the most difficult part <laughs> don't worry guys you have one more super difficult word to go and you can take a breath you can finally take a breath the last word I don't know how to pronounce this word so good luck to you the last word I don't know if it's going to fit. There we go. My autocorrect saved me. <laughs> My phone's autocorrect knows the word. So that's good. The last word, starting from the back. M. S. I. L. A. I. U. Q. O L L O C. Why am I laughing? Because this word is really, really difficult. M S I L A I U Q O L L O C. <laughs> My phone's autocorrect saved me. Collocation? Nope. You need to turn it around, guys. I am spelling the word from the back. <laughs> I will do it one more time. M-S-I-L-A-I-U-Q-O-L-L-O-C. He is speaking Russian. It kind of sounds like Russian, yeah. Um, it kind of sounds like Russian. <laughs> I'll help you out. I will spell the word from the front. Listen, from the front. C-O-L-L-O-Q-U-I-A-L-I-S-N. <laughs> if I, I say I don't know how to pronounce this word, I don't. So I searched it up. <laughs> this is how you pronounce the word. Colloquialism. Colloquialism. Qual colloquialism. 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 <laughs> colloquialism. 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 Colloquialism simply means an identifier. It's like an identifier. 
It's a uh, familiar expressions you often use. Some examples of informal colloquial. My God, colloquialisms. Colloquialisms are include words such as "you'll," "gonna," "wanna." All the English that is broken are colloquialism English words. Y'all, gonna, wanna, but also idioms. Often a lot of idioms are also colloquialisms. Like old as a hill, graveyard dead, don't chicken out, go bananas. These are Colloquialisms. You want more? Come back on Saturday. Saturday is the next time we have a challenge day, but I live stream every single day, so don't worry. This was the third challenge of today. If you just came, we have been doing challenges for three hours. So this was the third challenge of today. Congratulations, everybody, for doing all the challenges today. Thank you for joining my live stream today. We've been live streaming for three and a half hours because you guys are so amazing. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I hope to see you tomorrow. All right, guys. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, 8 p.m. China time. Uh, listening practice for your ears. <laughs> We're going to do music and poems. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good day. Good morning. Good afternoon. And uh, a beautiful life.